Sup Loop community, my name's Edge, I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer, and in the next section, we're gonna talk about how you can use track stacks to build on your existing sounds and save these sounds for use later in main stage or even right inside of Logic. Let's get started. So we've got a, a basic analog bass sound over here, which is pretty good, but we can layer this sound a little bit more if we wanna kind of bring out a little bit more of the low ends or maybe add a little bit of bite on top. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna um, basically create a new track altogether. Um, and when I do that, I can duplicate the existing track as is. Uh, and so I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. The keyboard shortcut for duplicate is Command D, and that's going to duplicate that existing track. Notice that I've got all the same sounds uh, pulled up right over here. So the same synth and, and all that stuff. I'm gonna choose a different analog sound. Right now, this is what we've got. which is pretty great. Uh, but what I wanna do is I'm gonna choose a different one, like this sync table. And the sync is gonna give me a bit of a different kind of bite, bitey high-end sound. Great. And what I actually wanna do is I want this sound to swell in a little bit. So I'm gonna use the filter envelope to do that. And I'm just gonna adjust it so that it gives me just enough swell. Uh, to cut through. Great. Uh, maybe just a little bit more. Awesome. So I'll close that out. Um, and then rather than recording that all over again, uh, one thing that we can do is that we can actually select both of these tracks. So uh, to do that, you can click on one, hold down the shift button and click on the other and that'll select two tracks. Um, we can right click on it, and now we can create a track stack. And what a track stack's gonna do is that it's basically gonna combine both of those sounds into one track that we can work with. And there's two different types of stacks. So there's a summing stack, which is one that is a multi-purpose track stack that allows you to uh, mix your individual tracks and can be saved as a patch. This is a patch that you can use later on in main stage. So that's the one that we're gonna be using uh, today. So I'll click create, awesome. And now what's happened is that it's created one track stack for the both of our sounds. And I'm actually just gonna move this original performance up into the main window so that both track stacks are played. I'll even pan these left and right so you can kind of hear the difference between uh, both stacks. So let's give that a go. Not bad, not bad. And by the way, it's a good idea to um, rename your sound. So we can call this uh, mono, or we can call this Mogish 01, and we can call this one Byte, just because that's what those sounds are. I'll click on this retro synth, and I'll probably make the filter envelope come in a little bit sooner um, so that it doesn't feel so offset when we're playing that. Okay, so close that. Let's try it again. And as we go in, we can adjust these sounds to get the effect you want. Great. And uh, I'll pan them back in the center just so they're a little bit more blended. Now, the next thing that I'll do is that I'm gonna go ahead and place some overall processing on this track stack. The great thing about track stacks is that you can adjust uh, these two sounds uh, together as a group. You'll notice that each of these tracks, instead of going out to a stereo output, they're actually going out to a bus. They're going out to bus one right now. And bus one is shown right here in this sum tune. In fact, if we double click on it, we can name it. We'll call it our bass 
track stack. And so you can see that um, this bus or this track stack uh, really is a place where we can kind of put some overall processing on both of these sounds. So if I'm trying to tighten up these sounds, I'll click on the audio effects. I'll head over to compressor. It's my most recently used option. And I'll just slap a compressor on there. And uh, I really like the vintage Opto. Let's see what that sounds like. You can add some distortion to it. Bring the makeup gain down a little bit. Great. You can even do some things with, uh, with side chain here. So right now I've got a kick coming in on uh, this EX808 track. And so if I click on the nun, I can actually say, hey, grab a uh, sidechain from the EX808, and uh, let's kind of see what happens when we start uh, using sidechain in our compressor. Now, just to give you an idea of what we were actually doing here. So with the compressor, I've set a side chain signal to come in and it's basically grabbing a signal from uh, the kick drum over here. And what's happening here is that as the kick pattern comes through, uh, it's coming in and it's actually lowering the level overall of the, the sound. In fact, if we go to graph, you can actually see it happening. So let me press play again. And so you can see what's going on is that as the song plays, it basically cuts it. And the lower your threshold is, the more you're gonna get a cut. You can set ratio to soften it. So the less the ratio, the softer the cut. The higher the ratio, the harder the cut. So that's track stacks. You can grab a bunch of instruments, group them together as one single instrument, add processing to that group of instruments, and then start building your track from there. In our example, we went from a static bass line to a bass line with a pump based off of our kick drum. In the next video, we're gonna keep building our track. We're gonna be sampling, and we're gonna start getting into some mixing since our mix is getting a little out of hand right now.